Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Tyler Nelson alongside Quinlan Mulroy. Coming up in today's show, Homecoming Spirit Week themes are announced. Today is the final day to purchase homecoming tickets, and the SAT test at Noren has been canceled. All this and more in your WCAT TV news. Today is the final day to purchase homecoming dance tickets. All tickets must be purchased online. Please see your email for a message from the Student Council with the link to purchase. If you need assistance, visit H107 during 10 through 12 Lunch and Learn or C107 during 9th grade Lunch and Learn. Homecoming Spirit Week will be September 19th to the 23rd. Monday will be PJ Day, Tuesday will be USA Day, Wednesday will be Adam Sandler Day, Thursday will be Growlfit vs. Double Denim, and Friday will be Wildcat Spirit. We hope you all participate. Pep Club will be hoarding a cornhole tournament on Wednesday, September 21st. Sign-ups will run from now through September 19th, and the cost will be $15 per team of two people or $8 for an individual sign-up. If you are interested in participating, fill out the form and stop by the table in the Commons area during 10 through 12 Lunch and Learn to pay. If you are a freshman, payments will be collected during Lunch and Learn on odds days only. If you do not pay before the 19th, you will not be able to participate. Any student interested in trying out for the Hometown High Q team should see Ms. Scala, Ms. Myers, and Ms. Purdy for the test by the end of the today. Are you interested in earning Global Scholars recognition upon graduation? Please come to an informational meeting with specifics in C201, Dr. Antolik, at the junior high on September 20th. The room with the large Eiffel Tower. Ninth grade, please plan on attending during Lunch and Learn from 12.30 to 12.55. And 10th through 12th grade, please join us during Lunch and Learn from 11.15 to 11.45. The first meeting of the reading competition team will be held this coming Thursday, September 22nd in the library classroom. Please bring your signed per parent permission forms to the meeting. The first meeting of SAGA, Greater Latrobe Sexuality and Gender Alliance, will be held on Wednesday, September 21st during morning Wildcat time in room C212. Any student in 9th through 12th grade interested in learning more about this inclusive and safe group is welcome to attend. Please see Mrs. Doyle or Mrs. Scala if you have any questions or would like more information. We will be back after this message. The Student Store is pleased to kick off the 2023 Wildcat Store Calendar Photography Contest. If you or someone you know has taken photos within the GLSD borders and would like to enter the contest, please visit the store's website in your email for the official roles and entry link. Winners will receive a cash prize and a free calendar. Calendars will be available for purchase through the online store in December. Last year's calendar was a big success and we're looking forward to even more participants this year. Attention anyone who was registered to take the SAT test at Norin on October 1st test date. This has been canceled. Please check your email for additional information from the College Board. The late registration deadline for this test date is September 20th, so all test center location changes would need to take place by this date if you still want to take the test in October. We will offer the SAT test here at Latrobe on November 5th. Please see Ms. Albright if you have any questions. Just a reminder to seniors, the scholarship page for this school year is up and running. Go to the district website, then to the high school page, and then under departments, go to the guidance office. This is where you find the scholarship page to see updates on scholarship opportunities and deadlines. This page will continue to be updated throughout the school year. So you will want to check it weekly. Now let's get a check on the weather. We go to Joe Coletti for the three day forecast. Hey Wildcats, here's your three-day forecast. Today expect partly cloudy skies with a high of 79 and a low of 57. On Saturday we'll see clear skies with a high of 83. On Sunday there's more partly cloudy skies with a high of 82 and a low of 63. That's the three-day forecast. Back to you. Thanks Joe. Mu Alpha Theta will meet on Monday, September 19th in C106 during the second half of Lunch and Learn. The first National Honor Society meeting will be held Thursday, September 22nd in the CSC during Lunch and Learn. Attention all students, please remember to be respectful and quiet as you are walking past the library or using the library printer. Students in classes are trying to focus on their schoolwork. Thank you in advance. Also, please be aware that even if the library doors are closed, you are welcome to enter the library unless there is a sign on the door saying that the library is closed. This rarely happens, so please feel welcome to come in. The doors are only closed to reduce the noise level. Finally, please remember that the library is a quiet, relaxing place to do schoolwork. Read browse resources, or use the Makerspace. If you are looking for a quiet place to spend lunch and learn, Wildcat time, or a free set, then make the library your home. We now go to Ramiah Henderson for the Wildcat Sports Report.
Thanks, Tyler. This morning, the cross-country team heads to Kiskey area for an invitational at 11 a.m. The boys' varsity golf team goes against Hemfield at 3.30 for a match at Greensburg Country Club. And finally, the football team travels to Thomas Jefferson for a game at 7. The Den theme is PJs. Be sure to support all of our teams today. That's all for Wildcat Sports. We go now to Richard Hillwig for National Sports. Thanks, Jeremiah. Here's your National Sports Report. In the MLB, the Pirates will start a three-game series against the Mets at City Field tonight at 7:10. Transitioning into the weekend, in college football, some matchups to watch are number 12 BYU and number 25 Oregon, number 22 Penn State and Auburn, number 11 Michigan State and Washington, and number 13 Miami and number 24 Texas A&M. Additionally, the Pitt Panthers will face off against Western Michigan at 7:30. Into the NFL, there will be 13 games across the day, with your Pittsburgh Steelers facing off against the New England Patriots at 1 o'clock. In the late afternoon, the Raiders and Cardinals face off in a matchup where both teams are coming off t disappointing losses and are both looking for their first wins of the season. And on Sunday night, the Packers are looking to bounce back after, week, after poor per week one performance against the Bears, who upset the 49ers in week one. The game is on NBC with kickoff at 820. That's all for National Sports. Back to you, Quinlan. Thanks, Richard. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Delaney Mulroy with What's Cooking. What's cooking late show? Cooking up in the main line, we have buffalo chicken dip with tortilla chips and carrot sticks. Next, we have hamburger and cheeseburger on bun and chicken patties. Can't forget the homemade pizza and Bosco sticks. And in the grab and go bar, we have fresh salads and deli hoagies. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Delaney. Old Navy at Westmoreland Mall is hiring part time brand associates. Students interested in applying can call the store at 724 853 8315 for more information. Also, Idlewild is looking to fill positions for their fall season. This may be a good opportunity for students to make a little extra cash without interfering with academics or other commitments. Pay is $15 an hour. Please visit idlewild.com employment for more information. Finally, Eaton Park in Latrobe is currently hiring students for several part-time positions. They offer flexible schedu scheduling and competitive wages. You can apply on their website. Students in grades 9 through 12 are invited to attend a special field trip on National Manufactured Day, Friday, October 7th, to tour Art Cutting Tools in Latrobe and see what modern manufacturing is all about. Art Cutting Tools specialize in manufacturing carbide tooling for the medical, automotive, air, and space industries. Students interested in attending can contact Ms. Yetter in the main office. The Westmoreland School Counselors Association will hold their annual College Technical School and Career Night at WCCC on Wednesday, September 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. Prior to the career night, there will be a financial aid presentation at 5.30. This event is open to all students free of charge. The following colleges will be in the Commons area during Lunch and Learn. Now here's Emily Sweeney with Wildcat World News. Good morning, Latrobe. Today in World News, a woman was arrested in South Korea with two murder charges from New Zealand. There, police found the bodies of two long-dead children abandoned in suitcases. Authorities didn't say if the suspect was the mother of these children, but police had previously said that the mother might be living in South Korea, making this possible. New Zealand authorities must submit a formal request for her extradition. Next, thousands of mourners have lined up through the nights to walk past Queen Elizabeth's coffin. The queue stretched back for 3.5 miles to the Tower Bridge. Prince William and his wife Catherine are going to visit the royal family's estate in eastern England to see some of the tributes left by well-wishers. And in local news, event organizers are eagerly anticipating the, 30, the 63rd annual Ligonier Highland Games. These games are scheduled for September 17th and will be held at Idlewild and Soak Zone. Gates open at 8 a.m. and the final event is scheduled to start at 5.30. That's all for world and no local news. Back to you. Thanks, Emily. We'll be back after Fit Check Friday. What's the Fit Check for today, Robbie? I have the jersey, the black shorts, and some purple and black shoes. Lauren, what's your Fit Check for today? Um, this is a hand-me-down. This is from Hollister. This I thrifted and Converse. Thank you. Hey Gabby, what's the fit check for today? Fit check is shirt from Life is Good, shorts from Under Armour, but I thrifted them, and shoes from Nike. So Katie, what's your fit check for today? 
Well, I'm wearing this shirt that I got from from uh, Stage Right when I did uh, Wizard of Oz. I was the mayor of Munchkin City, and uh, these pants are from I I don't know where they're from, but they're nice pants. And I got my new shoes. Thanks, Katie. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe. We are GL. Go Wildcats!